All right, let's talk about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. That guy we all know from the I Have a Dream speech. Born on a chilly day in January 1929, King became one of the major players in the American Civil Rights Movement. He wasn't about throwing punches or starting fires, no, King was all about peace and love. Well, he got his tips from the big guy upstairs, his Christian beliefs, and that Indian dude who loved spinning cutting and meditating, that's Mahatma Gandhi. He thought if people saw how badly the powers that be were treating them while they remained all peaceful and stuff, it would win the public sympathy and guess what, he was right. King was into the whole human dignity thin. He wasn't just waving the flag for racial equality. He was also out there shouting about fair pay and putting an end to poverty. That guy knew these issues were tightly knit as an old lady's quilt. Near the end of his life, he even started the Poor People's Campaign. Talk about being ambitious. Well, I must say, that guy had guts too. Personal threats, bombings, you name it. He faced it, yet he stuck to his guns. Well, not literally, of course, because he was all about non-violence, remember? His inspiring speeches and charisma rallied people around the civil rights cause like bees to honey, leading to some landmark laws like the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965. But of course, King's I Have a Dream speech is his claim to fame. The man dreamt of a day when his kids would be judged not by their skin color but by who they are as individuals. Dream big, right? So in 1964, the world decided to give King his moment under the spotlight when he got the Nobel Peace Prize. But, like a movie with a sudden twist, he was assassinated in 1968 at just 39 years old. So, who was Martin Luther King Jr.? He was a peace-loving, justice-seeking, big-dreaming, speech-delivering powerhouse of a guy who continues to inspire millions to work for a fairer world. Not too shabby for a man with a dream. In this video, we are going to go through some of his philosophies, so sit back and enjoy. Welcome to BlackRock Inspired. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. The time is always right to do what is right. Our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. We must accept finite disappointment but never lose infinite hope. I have decided to stick with love. Hate is too great a burden to bear. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. Faith is taking the first step even when you don't see the whole staircase. A riot is the language of the unheard. Life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Freedom is never voluntarily given by the oppressor. It must be demanded by the oppressed. We may have all come on different ships, but we are in the same boat now. Let no man pull you so low as to hate him. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character. If I cannot do great things, I can do small things in a great way. Nothing in the world is more dangerous than sincere ignorance and conscientious stupidity. Change does not roll on the wheels of inevitability but comes through continuous struggle. 
True peace is not merely the absence of tension, it is the presence of justice. We must build dikes of courage to hold back the flood of fear. Everybody can be great because anybody can serve. Nonviolence is a powerful and just weapon. Indeed, it is a weapon unique in history which cuts without wounding and ennobles the man who wields it.